of Nancy and Charles Senor, our husband and wife team. Charles is a minister and Nancy is an evangelist. They ministered all over this world and through radio and television. In 1983, Nancy had an out of this world experience by visiting heaven. And when they sing, miracles happen. Prepare to be blessed and prepare to receive. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise yeah. the Lord. Glad to be here today on this sunny day. This is a day that the Lord has made. Yes. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a lot of bad news in the world, but the good news is that Jesus is Lord. Yes. And Hallelujah. God is very much in control. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to start Amen. with this first song. I know everybody's familiar with it. Oh, happy day. It's a good day to receive the Lord Jesus as Christ, as Savior, if you haven't. Oh, happy day. And those of you that are saved, you remember the day you gave your heart to Christ? What a wonderful change. I remember the day when I knelt down to pray. Jesus came into my life. All my sadness was gone. He gave me strength to go on. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Yeah. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Happy day. Jesus was. When Jesus was. I remember when he was. Jesus was. Oh, how he was. Yes, he was. He was my Savior. Oh, yeah. I couldn't find a way out. 
Hallelujah. The Bible said that any man be in Christ is a new creation. Yeah. It ain't half done. It's all the way done. Yeah. Hallelujah. He presents a new creation. Hallelujah. In Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in, in Romans 12, 1, it said, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye drawn. That is verse number two. Be ye transformed Amen. by the renewing of the mind, that you will prove which is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of the Father. There is a transformation that has to take place. And Jesus said his spirit, hallelujah, to be in us and to teach us and to lead us into all truth. In Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is him one, him two, and him forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We preach it, so we preach Hallelujah. It. You remember, who remembers the day they got saved? Hallelujah. 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 You know, I believe it's real salvation when you remember the day you got saved. I remember the day that I got saved and what a mess I was. Hallelujah. What a mess my life was. Yeah. And I was going downhill. I was hooked on heroin, getting Bless high every day, and I was so sick of being sick. And somebody invited me to a church service, and the church was packed. And the preacher was preaching, and I didn't understand a whole lot he was saying, but something he said that God could do. And in my little natural carnal mind, I said, you mean God can do that? I said, you mean God can do that? I interrupted the church service like I was in school. I went, wait, wait a minute, preacher. You mean God can do that? Oh, Bless yeah. his heart. He didn't have an entourage who shut me up and sit me down like today's preachers. People want to be seen and heard and glorified. God should only be glorified. Yes. Amen. Amen. That preacher stopped preaching and I held my hand up and interrupt the service. He quit his glorious ser sermon and came back and all that crowd that sat down beside me. He said, what do you want? from the Lord. I told him how sick I was, how I have to get high every day. He gently led me by the hand to the altar, prayed for me, and I never experienced the power of God. And if you under the sound of my voice today, that's what your relatives need. Yes. That's what the crackheads right. need. Yes. They don't need somebody to take them to a dead altar and say a dead sinner's prayer and they walk away dead as they were before. They need the power of God. The preacher needs the power of God. The Sunday school teacher needs the power of God. The ushers need the sound power of God. Everybody needs to be sensitive to the Holy Yes. Because if they had had the ushers back then to sit me down, and the pastor said that she's full of devils and she's interrupting my service, I've seen it before, I would not have got delivered. When that man took me by the hand and led me to the altar, he had something working in him. He touched me, and Jesus touched me. Yes. And the power of God hit me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Amen. And I'm a living witness that who the Son sets free is free in me. I didn't have to go to rehab. I didn't have to go to a counselor. I didn't need nobody to hold my hand every week and say, once a drug addict, always a drug addict. I didn't need nobody lying to me, but the Holy Ghost is real. Yes. Amen. The power of God is real, and I've been free, and that's been over 31 years. Praise the Lord. And I didn't have a mind to go back and start doing dope again, because when the Lord does a work, it's a final finished work. It's done. Get your relatives, get your children to a church that has the power of the Holy Ghost working in it. Don't take it where people say, we don't believe in the Holy Ghost today. That's not real. Oh yeah, I said it. The power of the Lord is real. God is real. He's a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. I'm free today.
to the Father except through him. No other religion other than religion of Jesus Christ can bring you into conformity and to the excellency of God the Father. Jesus Christ is the door. He is the way. I'm here to tell you today, Jesus is the way. And if Jesus is pricking your heart by the Holy Spirit today, it is time for you to move into Jesus. Hallelujah. Not move into man, but move into Jesus because he is the only one that can save you. Yes. And besides that, he is the only one who can keep you. Yes. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is a keeper. Hallelujah. 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 I just want to give my little testimony. He got through songs really rolling. <laughs> All right, we're just flowing in the river. That's okay. There's a few ripples along the way. We just 
blow on to it. But when I got saved, I went into a uh, church there. It was a watch night service. Everybody know what a watch night service is? Uh huh. Okay, I went in to watch night service. I was on my way to the club. They had already got uh, what they call trimmed up for the, for the club festivities. But I went into this church, and I mean, I was I was high as a kite. He was I'm drunk. Telling, I, well, <laughs> shy of being drunk. I was high as a kite. Went into this service. The longer I sit there, there was something that came over me, and I was crying so so much there till my shirt was absolutely wet. When the uh, the preacher uh, gave the altar call, uh, 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 I went up very, at the very last end. And he was getting ready to close down. And the Holy Spirit picked me up out of the uh, pew where I was. And it walked me out by cuffing my knee. I did not do that. The Holy Spirit was moving on me that strong. I walked up there to the altar. The preacher, he had, he had already gave the uh, benediction. He looked up and saw me, kind of startled him. He said, well, what can I do for you? I said, I gotta be uh, baptized tonight. If I don't get baptized tonight, I won't get baptized, period. And so he said, well, that water is ice cold. I said, I have to get baptized tonight. So he said, if you're willing to get in that ice cold water back there, uh, we'll do it. So uh, long story short, we performed the baptism. When I came out, the whole church just went up in, 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 uh, uh, in the gala uh, uh, rejoicing and marched around the church walls and stuff. And, uh, and each time I walked, walked around the church walls, the happier I got, and the soberer I got. And at the end of that thing, the preacher came around and he talked, and, and the spirit was so strong on me that I walked out of the church. I was still drunk as I could be, but I was drunk in the Holy Ghost when I went out. Hallelujah. Change came on me over 30 years ago. And I tell you, I have not uh, uh, ventured to do any of that past life, although I can go right into it and not partake of it. Hallelujah. That tells me that Jesus is a keeper. When he delivered you out of it, he said, "He any man that the sun set free is free indeed. Amen. I can go around people smoking. I can go around people drinking. I can go right into them clubs there. And I don't have that old corner desire to get back into that mainstream of that life. But I have a word from the Lord to give to somebody as the Holy Ghost pricked me to give the word. I don't go in on a religious uh, mindset, but I go in in the Spirit of the Lord. If the Spirit of the Lord don't move, I don't move. But I'm telling you right now, Jesus is a keeper, and there is nothing impossible for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right. God will All give right. you a testimony, too, that you've been set free by the power of God. When God sets you free, you don't have to worry. That's the world's language. Well, what if I go back? Honey, if you go back, you just meant to go back. You were a backslider, and you just meant to go back. Because when God sets you free, you're free. Right. You don't have to worry about cravings and all that stuff. It'll be as if you never did it. That's right. Whatever the habit is. Right. The Bible yes. says that God is saw work of repentance unto salvation. God is sorry. Not that you're sorry for what you've done. You, you're just sorry that you offended God. That's what you're sorry for. And, and in that, he provided a way of escape for you through Jesus Christ, our salvation. Amen. Amen. Amen? Through Jesus Christ, salvation does come. Amen. This next song uh, says, Fear Not. You know, there, there's a lot of reasons that we can fear today. I mean, look at just what just happened in Orlando and other places. People in the nightclub and somebody comes in and, and kills them. Tomorrow is not promised to any man. But we know who holds tomorrow. And the word of the Lord tells me to fear not that God is with me wherever I go. That he'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. He will strengthen me. He is the source of my strength and the strength of my life. And I don't have to do this life on my own. And I don't have to live in fear. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice is kind of raspy. But we don't have to fear. The song says, fear not. Self. 
Yeah. 